Good evening guys and happy Friday to all of our sunshiny faces. So guys, I had an insanely small haul today um, from both stores. I literally just put the stuff away when I got home. And also to Valley Produce, we went through the self-checkout and so I don't know if that is why, but two of my produce items that were supposed to be on sale came up at like retail price, expensive. Like one was triple the price it was supposed to be on sale and the other was like over double um so I got I think it was the cauliflower was supposed to be like 79 cents per pound I think it was 250 per pound and also the bell peppers the red bell peppers were supposed to be 98 cents on sale and I think they were also like 250 per pound or something like that so I paid a lot of money for those two things um I needed them though well okay the thing was was that when we were ringing it up and everything like that the um cauliflower actually like we scanned the little thing and then it tells you like to put it on like the weight weighing thing you know so I did that thinking again that it was going to you know like it would be the right price but I don't know if I accidentally picked up the organic cauliflower instead of like the regular cauliflower which you know like normally honestly though when the store has I shouldn't say that but sometimes Valley Produce and Caputo's um like if they have like the organic kind on sale then they won't have like the non-organic kind or if they have the organic kind on sale the regular kind will also be on sale for the same price most of the time um so again i was thinking and i was pretty sure i got it from the right spot because it was in the like main sort of like advertised sort of section like sale section so i i was thinking i got the right one and the bell peppers i know for a fact were the right ones but i don't know if because we looked it up um maybe it was a different kind or something like that but it didn't strike me as all that weird when we were first putting it in we also got two things of like k-cup coffee the starbucks and then also the thing of dunkin donuts coffee and so both items ended up bringing up a dollar more expensive than the sale price because it was a limit of two each um so i could have gotten two of the starbucks coffees and two of the dunkin donuts but i just got one of each because they weren't really great sales but i figured it was okay because we haven't gotten a sale on those in a while so anyways i ended up picking those up but like I said because of the limit system the way they do it at Valley Produce it will ring up at the like regular sort of like sale price and then take the additional savings off if you didn't buy more than two so um or you know whatever the limit is so like I said that originally didn't strike me as that weird because I was like oh you know like it's gonna go it'll come off maybe later once it goes on sale but again like the cauliflower was like stinking like three dollars or something like that and I should have probably only paid like a dollar something maybe um and then the same with the bell peppers they were like three dollars or something and should have probably only paid about a buck for them we needed them though because we're doing um for my cousin's birthday my mom asked like oh did you need us to bring anything and my aunt was like oh could you guys bring your veggie tray so i was like oh we can just do a homemade veggie tray since like i get produce so cheap anyway so um and you know we'll have extras left over obviously and then we can use you know that and have it for the week and stuff so like i was saying i was thinking like an a bell pepper or two and then some broccoli cauliflower we got some little like persian cucumbers um we have baby carrots and then i also got a celery and I'm trying to think of what else maybe that was it um oh and then also too which wasn't a really great price but um caputo's had um some little what's it called cherry grape tomato sort of for like 250 which normally like 199 is normally i get them for like a good price sometimes i can get them as low as like 99 cents but they were for the organic kind so even then though i still sometimes get those for like 99 cents but i didn't see it on sale anywhere else and i was like i don't want to risk maybe just like being like oh i'll try it at aldi or whatever so i wanted to make sure that we had like i said sort of that little variety of like vegetables so um we're gonna bring that anyway so honestly like again probably half of the produce that we got maybe even less than half though we'll probably wind up using at for the party and then again the other stuff for us at home um so again I didn't end up doing the haul though because that ended up ringing up at the wrong price and honestly I got maybe like less than 10 items probably at each store it was $30 actually at Valley Produce because the stuff then again was so expensive actually no I think that it was seriously more like five something for the cauliflower and 
for something for the bell peppers which again was pretty stinging expensive so um i think i should have spent probably closer to like 20 bucks in total for everything or like maybe 25 but i spent about 30 dollars um and then at uh caputo's we spent under under $30 we also got two of the pizzas um that they have on Fridays for dinner tonight too so again like we ended up spending less there though and I felt like I actually got kind of more food than Valley Produce so I was a little bummed about that I don't know if it was again we put in the wrong stuff we picked up the wrong thing I didn't even check to see if it was the organic cauliflower after we got home but I checked my receipt and was like that seemed a little high afterwards um and so and again I wasn't thinking because like I knew that I saw some of the stuff come off on the computer so that's also what I was thinking so yeah anyways like I said I don't really have a haul to share with you guys because of that um but then also too too because I was just honestly guys I have been pooped all week and have not felt like wanting to do anything I was so productive and then all of this driving I am just sort of like peopled out a little bit and um like and we didn't do a whole ton of stuff really with like a lot of people but like last weekend on Saturday you know we went to go see the movie and that wasn't like that bad or anything you know we don't really do stuff with people but like out of the house kind of stuff like it's not like like I don't even mind being busy and staying busy but like I sort of like to do it at my own house <laughs> um just like being out sometimes just takes a toll on me and I'm just like okay now I'm tired like for example on Saturday again we went out to the movies or whatever and it wasn't even like that that is so bad like for me it's just sort of like I didn't really get to do anything then on Saturday um which we weren't gone all day but it was like sort of right in the middle of the day so it was weird then again on Sunday ended up going over to go and see family it wasn't that long or anything but it was it was a good drive then on Wednesday it was a Wednesday I went to go see my grandparents and turned into a whole family reunion um and that was a long drive and also again a lot of people and so like it just is like again I like I haven't had a lot of time either because then on top of that too like my schedule was thrown off a little bit because like Tuesday I cleaned the bathroom but I didn't totally finish cleaning the bathroom I was sort of bummed about that um and then on Wednesday like I didn't get to clean the kitchen and then I was like on Thursday I was like well do I clean the kitchen do I clean the living room and neither of those rooms were picked up so I didn't get the chance to clean up in there so again I like it, my routine and everything like that was also thrown off like we didn't get to do any projects over the weekend either to like sort of keep me motivated like that's my other thing too is that I lose my motivation very quickly if I'm not staying consistent in things and so like again when we are like gone and I'm out of the house and I'm not at home like all day again we're gone going somewhere doing something seeing people or something like that and then when I come back a lot of times it's like okay now again a, a four hour drive on Wednesday you know is like a I come home and I just need to probably take the rest of the day to myself um and then you know it's is like where okay I didn't get anything done and then my productivity just sort of sometimes suffers because of certain things like that because like this week alone a lot was packed into one week and then again on Sunday a different family party the following week going to St. Louis and then um the week after that I think is my cousin's um bridal shower and then I think the weekend after that there's something else that's going on too I can't remember exactly what that is but like I was saying there's like and now it's like every weekend something's going on which I don't mind stuff going on on the weekend I think what maybe threw me off a little more was the Wednesday sort of thing and then also too is like if I have something going on like one day that's not that bad like oh we have a party going on on Sunday okay that's cool you know I have all of Saturday I can get done things or whatever but when it's like I got again a movie where I'm gone for a good portion of the day then go to a family party on Sunday then it's like I don't have either of those days to really just like spend like the whole day like getting to projects catching up on things or whatever and I'm recuperating from again like stuff that was going on or whatever then I don't really have that like like I said productivity to get back in on track or anything like that and again when it's on the weekends for me it's not that bad but it's when I don't have my normal weekday schedule it's really bad where I can't get things done and can't get back into a routine for me it's 
like my biggest thing is routine and so if I fall out of one of those again didn't get the bathroom cleaned very well on Tuesday because I was lazy on Monday because of sat uh, because of Sunday because of Saturday also and then again was sort of lazy on Monday so I didn't get a lot of stuff done on Monday so I sort of slacked and then picked up some of that on Tuesday didn't finish cleaning the bathroom on Tuesday and then um, on Wednesday again wasn't here so I wasn't able to get anything else you know done or taken care of and then on Thursday again it was recuperating from Wednesday and still not getting any of this stuff done and trying to you know again just get into back into the routine of like just doing the dishes just doing the laundry once I start to get those things then caught back up for me then I get back on track and then can start back on like a normal sort of schedule but like I said I didn't really do that and so it was like one day again sort of snowballs into another day and then I don't get the things done that I need to or I'm like I'm just you know like I just don't feel like doing something and so then I'm like well it's okay because you know like I had a busy day yesterday I don't have to do it and I talk myself out of it a lot of times too and then wind up like you know I'll be like I was in a car for four hours on Wednesday like I don't have to you know like that's my excuse <laughs> then for being like oh, I didn't get a lot done so um or I wasn't able to then the following day either because I was, you know, like, oh, I got to, you know, one or two little things, but I didn't get to like a good big chunk of stuff. And so, yeah, guys, but <laughs> um, that's why this week was sort of bad. And I'm really hoping that again, because I don't have anything scheduled during the week this week. It's just on Sunday. And then hopefully after Sunday, I can get back on track sort of. And like, I don't have anything going on tomorrow either. So, um, you know, tomorrow can maybe be a day two where I can get to back into doing things or whatever. But like on Saturday of last week too, it was also, was it raining or something? I don't remember, but we didn't wind up getting to anything. Like my dad did like a couple little things and then that was sort of it. I totally don't mind like the going and doing things. And you know, like I said, getting out of the house sort of thing, but it's like, I need to come back and like, you know, have like a day to get caught back up, but then sometimes it seems like after that day, then I, and that was the thing too, on Tuesday, I started to talk myself out of finishing the bathroom because I was like, well, when I come home on Wednesday, since I won't be able to have enough time to clean anything anyway, then I can just like get the, finish cleaning the bathroom. So then I talked myself into actually not finishing it on Tuesday and doing it on Wednesday. Cause I was like, that way I'll still feel productive. If I give myself half the day to do the project instead of just doing it the full day, then at least I'll feel productive because I'll spend a little bit of time on Wednesday doing something and it never happened. So yeah, I, I like I said, I talk myself out of sometimes doing things that I probably should just be like, nope, just gonna go and do it. Like I, like I said, I'm really bad about that and schedules and my routine and stuff like that. I'm really bad about that. Had I had a planner, I never replaced my planner that um, ended in June of this year. I never got a new one for July. I haven't been using a planner either. So that would also probably be helpful for me in being like, okay, well like just get back on track then. Just do laundry and dishes this day. Like I didn't do any editing this week. I like, just sporadically sort of got to dishes and laundry when I had time. Um, I didn't, like I said, I just cleaned half of the bathroom. I didn't like do a lot of the stuff that I normally do in my, my weekly sort of time frame. And so I feel like though using a planner helps me get back on track when I know I have a lot of big things, you know, and a lot of stuff going on, at least that way I can sort of hold myself accountable. But if not, then if I leave it blank in my planner, I'm like, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I should have finished it. And that way I can check it off. And if I only wind up cleaning half the bathroom, I won't check it off and then I will feel guilty for not checking it off so I'll finish it on Tuesday instead of penciling it in for Wednesday <laughs> so um but again that has been another reason why you know I was productive but I wasn't holding myself accountable and so and that's really hard then I, I tend to lose that productivity so hopefully tomorrow again I can sort of do that but <laughs> anyways guys I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of our sunshiny pieces tomorrow so bye guys